Hi everyone, I'm Lizzy. Today I'm gonna walk you through the making of this maxi bike skirt, which has a straight, almost mermaid silhouette. It is extremely easy to make. No dot, zippers, button, just two panels sewn together with an elastic waistband. It will be a great project if you're looking for something quick and still flattering. To start, you need to fold your fabric diagonally to find a bias screen. Then you align the center front and the center back perfectly with the folded line. Secure the pattern in place and then cut the fabric out. And don't forget to mark the notch, it's very important. So moving on to next step, we're gonna assemble front piece and back piece. With the wrong side together and the right side facing out, we're gonna match the notches and pin the two side seams together. We're gonna make the French seam. Bring your pieces to sew machine and stitch the first seam at 0 0.7. Repeat it for the other side too. Now we need to trim the seam allowance down to around 0 0.4. Then you need to press the seam allowance in one direction. Fold it over so the raw edge is inside the layers. Press it flat again and just make sure that the wrong side is facing outward. We're gonna make the second stitch here with 0.7 seam allowance. So yeah, here is the result. As you can see, this is the wrong side and this is the right side. Well, at this step, it looks like a skirt now. I was just trying it on me to see how it fits and I loved it. The straight shape just exactly what I wanted. Next, we're gonna attach the elastic. So you will need to measure your waist circumference at whatever level you want. It can be high waist or low waist. The length of the elastic gonna be your waist circumference minus five. So my waist is 73. My elastic gonna be 68. Cut the elastic and align both ends edge to edge. Then attach them with a zigzag stitch. We're gonna divide both the elastic and waistline into quarter and then mark them. Now with the right side of the skirt facing out, Put the elastic around the waistline and then pin the elastic to the waistline. The marks gonna help you to align them correctly. We're gonna also use a zigzag stitch to secure the elastic to the waistline. You're gonna see that the waistline length normally is gonna be longer than the elastic length, which is normal. You just need to stretch the elastic to match the fabric length as you sew. Turn the elastic inside so the edge is hidden inside the waistline. Here on the two side seams, we're gonna do one centimeter top stitch to make sure that the elastic gonna stay in place. If you don't do this step, when you wear the skirt, the elastic gonna slip and you're gonna feel very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. 
In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do the baby roll hem with this. This is a band roll tape. Firstly, you will want to remove some strands from the tape. The width of the fray edge will be equal to the width of your hem. For the first stitch, you're gonna put the band roll on the right side of the fabric, edge to edge. Then stitch to attach the band roll to the fabric. Make sure that your stitching is within the comb section of the band roll because later we're gonna have to remove it. Now you're gonna flip the band roll around to the other side and give it a good press. Then take it back to the sewing machine and stitch the hem in place. And here's the fun part, you're gonna remove the band roll. Very satisfying. Here you go, your beautiful baby roll hem is finished. Let's give it a last press. That's it, the skirt is finished and I am completely in love. If you got any question about this skirt, drop a comment on this video. I'll try to reply as quick as possible. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram or TikTok if you ended up making this skirt. I'd love to see your version. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.